Alright, hello YouTube, welcome to Noxane. Today's video will cover a quick review of what I found when I'm using the iPad mini 6th generation, which might affect your purchase decisions. If you like this video, please click on click the subscribe button. If you want to ask something, please say in the comment sections. I will try making more video in response to your support. Like all of you, I received my lovely iPad mini 6th generation today and start transferring my workflow from my 2018 iPad Pro 11-inch model to this new iPad mini. The screen aspect ratio and the iA15 really provide great speed, just like A12 Apple Silicons from the 2018 iPad Pro, the fantastic GPU performance for gaming, which really makes this iPad the best gaming machines and entertaining devices for YouTube, Netflix, and <clears throat> online meeting when you work from home. But Yes, as the video title mentioned, the new iPad mini will not support 4K16 external monitor output, which I found is a big disadvantage compared to my 2018 iPad Pro. When I connect to my Realsonic 4K monitor with the USB-C converter, the same one provides excellent 4K videos quality with my iPad Pro and M1 Air. Um, I have no luck transmitting the 4K signal by connecting to the iPad mini. I tried different cables, the USB-C to HDMI 2.0 cable, which can easily run 4K 60 with the iPad Pro from 2018. Only provide me with 1080p display output with my iPad mini. I tried another USB-C to DisplayPort 1.4 cable, which should drive up to 8K 30Hz signal. Uh, I use it as my daily driver with my iPad Pro, only able to output 4040p signal at 60Hz. Fortunately, when you turn on the Allow Display Mode Changes settings under the Display and Brightness settings, you can display the 4K 24Hz signal when playing Apple TV content uh, by the USB-C to DisplayPort 1.4 cable. By taking information from the internet, I found no one talking about these situations. Even Apple.com still have no update on the support information for the iPad mini 6th generation. The closest thing I can get is that Apple had mentioned the iPad Air 4 can only perform 4K 30Hz signal when playing videos. So I believe this new iPad mini might share the same behavior as its bigger brother. Although it is somehow a significant disadvantage for the iPad mini, I still really love these devices. It is so cute and powerful and make me really want to use it during my travel and bedtime. The lighter white and better screen size, 5G support are so amazing to make me have zero regard binders. But the lack of 4K16 output will definitely change my plan on how I will use my devices. If you also really need to 4K16 output like me, you might need to consider iPad Pro series or play the 4K16 content on your M1 MacBooks like me. Alright, I think this is the end of the day. This is not saying. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Your support means a lot to me. Until next time, bye.